God. Greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today's devotion is from 2nd Chronicles chapter 36. The topic for today's devotion is Forgiving Never to Remember. Here in this chapter we have a very sad but terrific short account of the utter destruction and ruin of Judah and Jerusalem, which happened within few years after the death of the godly king Josiah. All the kings who came after him did evil in the sight of the Lord. All the leaders of the priests and all the people transgressed against God. They defiled the house of the Lord and their abominations grew worse. That's what we read in here. God's judgment was poured on Judah because of this. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, came up against Judah and multitudes of people were killed. They burned the house of God and palaces into ashes, broken down the walls of Jerusalem. King of Judah was taken captive. Also, they took everything from the temple of the Lord. All the treasures, great and small, all the articles to Babylon. And all the people of Judah who escaped the killing, they were taken captive and they became servants to Nebuchadnezzar and his sons. God's wrath and judgment fell upon his own people because of their persistent disobedience and rejection of God. God had given them multiple opportunities in various ways to repent and turn to God. He patiently waited because he did not want anyone to perish. Sadly, people rejected God and their abominations were worst day after day. However, we read in the scriptures that our God is gracious. Our God's loving kindness endures forever. His mercy endures forever. His faithfulness, it is new every morning. Though God's judgment fell upon his people, he has promised restoration of his people back to their own land and the rebuilding of Jerusalem after the set period of years. All the Jews will return to Jerusalem at that time and will rebuild the house of the Lord. As Jeremiah prophesied, we are seeing part of the prophecy being fulfilled today in our own lifetime. Beloved sisters, our compassionate God goes after his own people. Even though we forsake him and wander away from him, still God's great love reaches us wherever we may be. What do we read in Romans 5 verse 20? Where sin abounded, Grace did much more abound. Our responsibility is to repent and turn back to our Lord. His love never fails. In the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12, we are reminded that love covers all sins. That means love forgives all the sins to the point that our sins are not remembered anymore and we are free from the punishment of our sins. The great God of the universe, the almighty God is with boundless love and mercy towards his people. As children of God who have put their trust in Christ, 
we can always find rest and refuge in the Lord God through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen.